Hi, my name is Cho and I'm a fourth year student from Mechanical Engineering. In this video, I'll be discussing two processes in refinery plant which are catalytic reforming and fluid catalytic cracking. We'll start by discussing the first process which is the catalytic reforming. The main function of a catalytic reforming system is to convert feed in the form of low octane naphtha into higher aromatic compounds. Through the influence of heat, pressure and catalyst, the feed is reformed into high octane aromatic compounds. The products formed are called reformat for the use of gasoline for blending components and feedstock for petrochemical. The secondary products produced are hydrogen and lighter hydrocarbons. There are three types of catalytic reforming configuration which are continuous reformer, semi-regenerative reformer and cyclic reformer. There are many process units in a catalytic reformer. In this video, we will be discussing on five process units which are reactor, furnace, separator, stabilizer, and recycle compressor. In the first step of this process, feed is first mixed with hydrogen in the furnace at 900 to 950 degrees Fahrenheit to vaporize and allow reaction to take place. Vaporized feed is then passed to the reactor. In the reactor, the mixed hydrogen reacts with the catalyst to allow reformation of hydrocarbon structures to occur. As this process is endothermic, three or more reactors are required. The feed is passed through the furnace for heating before entering the next reactor. This is to ensure reheating to obtain suitable temperature as the heat is absorbed due to endothermic reaction. The product in step 2 is liquefied and cooled before reaching the separator. This allows an easy removal of hydrogen produced by the reforming reaction. The removed hydrogen is recycled in the recycle compressor and mixed with fresh reactor feed. This will ensure the concentration of hydrogen is at a high desirable level. Next, the liquid is then passed to the stabilizer. In the stabilizer, light hydrocarbon gases are separated. The stabilized reformat is the product drawn at the bottom of the vessel. As coke is formed and deposited on the catalyst gradually during operation, the removal of coke is important. This is to avoid a decline in reforming performance. The method for cleaning is through burning of coke from the surface of catalyst. Cleaning process depends on the type of catalytic reforming configuration. There are mainly three types of configuration. The first type of configuration is the continuous reformer. Here, the catalyst is cleaned in separate regenerator. The clean catalyst is then returned to the system. The second configuration is a semi-regenerative reformer. The reactor operates as usual for several months before cleaning. When cleaning process takes place, all units are required to be removed. This is to ensure equal time for regeneration operation of catalysts. This configuration has a slight amount of disadvantage as the unit must be stopped for cleaning. The third configuration is the cyclic reformer. This configuration is equipped with swing reactor. It allows partial regeneration while the other reactors continue to operate. This avoids stopping of all units for cleaning purposes. The next process is the fluid catalytic cracking system. A fluid catalytic cracking system or FCC is used to crack or convert heavy or high boiling hydrocarbon fractions from crude oil into smaller hydrocarbons to be processed into useful products. The FCC unit in a refinery plant produces products such as gasoline of higher octane rate with more carbon to carbon double bond. Other examples of products are diesel fuel, jet fuel, heating oil, gasoline, oil phenic gases and more. There are mainly two types of FCC configuration. The first is a stack type FCC and the second is a side by side FCC. There are many process units in an FCC. In this video, we will be discussing on mainly 5 process units which are reactor unit, regenerator unit, flue gas system, and fractionator. In this system, the hydrocarbons are first brought into the reactor. 
The catalyst is mixed with the hydrocarbons in the reactor. Heavy hydrocarbons are then converted to lighter hydrocarbons in the form of vapor. This vapor will move up the reactor and into the distillation column. While the catalyst is collected at the bottom of the reactor, it will move into the regenerator via a tilted valve. There are mainly two important units in a reactor, the riser and the cyclone. In the riser, feed is contacted with the hot catalyst. The catalyst rises via leaf in the riser. The leaf is usually of lighter hydrocarbons and the estimated time would take around 0.25 seconds to accomplish. The riser is connected to the cyclone unit. In the cyclone unit, the separator separates the flue gas and catalyst. The catalyst is usually covered with coke and sent back to the regenerator. The temperature in the cyclone reaches an approximate of 600 to 750 degrees Celsius, while the temperature of flue gas is received at a temperature of 600 to 700 degrees Celsius. Products of steam from the reactor is then passed into the fractionator. In this particular unit, crack vapor from the reactor is fractionated. The product form varies in ranges such as gasoline, LPG, heavy and light hydrocarbons and more. Some of the heavy oil is recycled to riser. Carbon layers in the form of coke is formed on the catalyst and requires removal. In this process, air is pumped into the regenerator to burn off the coke form. The catalyst is then fed back to the reactor through a valve and the cycle is then repeated. The burnt coke form combustible products known as flue gas. The flue gas from the regenerator then enters a multi-equipped system known as the flue gas system. The flue gas system helps eliminate remaining catalysts. This system is also equipped with another unit called an electrostatic precipitator, or in short form, an ESP. An ESP helps remove small catalyst particles through static electric. There are two types of FCC configuration. The first configuration is the side-by-side -side FCC, and the second is the stack-type FCC. For the side-by-side -side FCC, the reactor and the catalyst regenerator are placed in two separate vessels. This makes the side-by-side -side FCC occupy slightly more space in the refinery area. Whereas in the stack type FCC, the reactor is located above the regenerator. The catalyst regenerator is contained in two vessels separately. In between these vessels, a skirt is present. The skirt helps connect regenerator of gas piping to the top of the regenerator vessels. This configuration takes up lesser space compared to the side-by-side -side FCC. To compare these two processes, we have to look into four main criteria, which are the reaction type, number of reactors used, type of unit configuration, and the process of coke elimination. The catalytic reforming undergoes endothermic reaction as large amount of temperature decreases when dehydration process of naphthenes to aromatics occur. The FCC, on the other hand, undergoes exothermic reaction when coke is combusted, producing higher heat. The heat is partially absorbed by regeneration catalysts. As for the number of reactors used, the catalyst reforming system requires more number of reactors compared to the FCC. The catalytic reforming system usually has three or more reactors placed close to the furnace, while the FCC usually has only one reactor placed close to its regenerator. There are three types of catalytic reforming configuration which are continuous reformer, cyclic reformer, and semi regenerative reformer. There are two types of FCC configuration which are side-by-side -side FCC and stack-type FCC. The process of eliminating coke for the two systems differs. The catalytic reforming system eliminates coke according to the type of cycle of reforming configuration. As discussed in the earlier slides, the tree configuration affects the method of removing coke. There are no flue gas in this system for the catalytic reforming as no flue gas are produced. The process of eliminating coke for the FCC occurs in the regenerator unit. Here, coke is burned and produce combustible products known as flue gas. These gases will move to the flue gas system. In conclusion, both catalytic reforming and fluid catalytic cracking are used in refinery plant. The function of catalytic reforming is to convert naphtha into higher octane aromatic compounds. 
The five process units are reactor, furnace, separator, stabilizer, and recycle compressor. It undergoes endothermic reaction in the reactor. There are three types of configuration which are continuous reformer, cyclic reformer, and semi-regenerative reformer. The function of fluid catalytic cracking is to convert heavy hydrocarbons into smaller hydrocarbons. The four process units are reactor, regenerator, flue gas system, and fractionator. It undergoes exothermic reaction. There are two types of configuration which are side-by-side -side FCC and stack-type FCC.